Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about hard work. Now be asking the question, does hard work equal success? So oftentimes we've been told, if you work hard, you're gonna be successful in everything you're doing. Working hard equals success. We hear that all the time. But unfortunately, there are times when you work hard and you do not become successful at something that you're doing, right? It's possible. So we're gonna talk about certain ways that you can do or certain things that you can do to help you become more successful at your craft. The first thing I want you to know is you must develop effective strategies along with your hard work to be successful. What do I mean by effective strategies? What I mean by you must have the right tools. So say for example you want to create a YouTube channel, right? Now YouTube uses certain analytics, practices, and algorithms to boost your content so viewers can do your content, right? So you could do a thousand videos, a hundred, a million videos, and you'll never go anywhere. You'll never get anywhere, right? You'll never, no one ever will ever see your videos if you do not understand how YouTube works. So even if you're working hard and you're working hard and you're working hard, you can, there's a chance for you not to be successful at YouTube if you just don't understand. You do not have the right strategy to be successful at YouTube. Another example is, let's just say you're in school, right? And you want to be ace a math test. And at home, you're studying for good, you're doing everything you're supposed to, you're studying hard, and you end up taking the test and you fail. You get like a 33, trust me, I would know. Um, <laughs> you say, I've been there before. You get like a 33 in a test, right? You're like, how the heck did I get 33 in this test? I mean, I've bust my butt off and I'm studying hard. Well, as chances are, and sometimes people do this, right? You can study as if you are studying in English. Right? You can read and try to practice it differently. But the reality is a math test is completely different when you're studying. You have to practice the math and practice the math and practice the math and memorize the math for you to be successful. Now, in the English way, you read and read and read and read and read and, you know. But, so the different, my point in all this is there's different strategies for different tests or for different subjects. You cannot use one strategy towards the other of you not be successful. No matter how much you work hard, no matter how long you study, it will not happen. The second strategy I want to, the second, um, um, second way I want to help you in order to make sure that you are increase your chances of success is work hard. You must work hard even in defeat. What do I mean by working hard even in defeat? Even if you fail, you must still work hard. Meaning, Failure is inevitable. You must go through failure in order to be successful. So, all I want to tell you is do not quit. If some people, they work hard and they, you know, they feel like they fail at something, they fail one time, two times, or even three times, they're like, this is not working, I'm going to quit. No, 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 no. Use those failure as a way to learn. Failure is healthy. You're going to fail before you become successful. So, get, get I would say make failure your friend because it's going to happen to you. Failure is a learning lesson. So you learn as you fail and then you use whatever you fail at to better you in the future and you keep going on and you keep progressing. And the third thing I want to talk about with you today, I'm going to look at my notes for this one, is believe in yourself. Do not place limits on yourself. Believe in yourself, but don't place limits on yourself. What do I mean by that is? Confidence is key. You need to believe in yourself. You just say, I can do it and I will do it. However, sometimes we have too much confidence that we don't work as hard or we think as though, oh, we got this. Now I'm too confident. No. Be confident for sure because you need that in, on your journey to success. But also don't place limits on yourself. Don't limit yourself because the more you place limits on yourself, is you, 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 let's just say you're, let's use YouTube on YouTube, right? Let's just say, I want to make 100,000 subscribers. Once you get to 100,000 subscribers, you're like, I'm good. I'm chilling now. I don't need to do no more. No, don't ever do that to yourself. Once you reach that 100,000 and you feel good, pat yourself on the back. You did great. But what you really want to do is get that 1,000 subscribers and be like, okay, I'm at 100,000. Let me see if I can get like 200,000, 300,000, 400,000. Let me just not place a limit on myself. Let me just keep going and going and going. I'm limitless. So whenever you get to your goals, whatever that is, don't place limits on yourself. Keep going. So again, success, hard work does equal success. But sometimes if you don't have the right tools for it, you can work hard and you still could not be successful. So guys, please um, have the right tools, have the right strategies, have the right processes. 
you know, have all these things before you work your butt off because I do not want you to quit. I do not want you to fail. And if you do fail, just don't forget to stop. Keep going. You know, failure is inevitable. None of us are going to not fail. <laughs> But don't let failure stop you. It should never, ever, ever stop you. It should never, ever, ever limit you. All right, guys, I hope that you learned something from this video. If you like my content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. All right, thanks.